Two different SpaceX Starships have blown in 2021, driving to mixed sentiments about the company's star prototype and its capacity to take humans to Mars. With the FFA analyzing the exploded Starship, people are going back to the days when space missions fell totally within the region of public agencies instead of special aerospace firms. However, NASA's routes were just as bumpy as several prototype rocket vehicles in the 1960s. They also got blown before they could complete their mission objectives, just like SpaceX's Starship and initial prototypes. The rising question here is, who has better rockets, NASA or SpaceX? Let's find out the answer in today's video. The FFA declared that it would administer the investigation into a wreck landing of SpaceX's crashed prototype rocket Starship SN9. This came on the heels of an earlier investigation of the aerospace firm's last Starship SN8 which also crashed on landing. The SN9 Starship was an early model for SpaceX, which was launched in a high-altitude flight test. Notably, the spacecraft prototype wandered almost six miles into the air, drifted shortly, then successfully performed the belly flop technique before crashing and exploding into the Earth. The FFA's top preference in regulating commercial space transportation is confirming that operations are safe even if there is an anomaly. The FFA a will supervise the investigation of the landing mishap, including the SpaceX Starship SN9 prototype in Boca Chica, Texas. However, this was an uncrewed test flight. The investigation will observe the root purpose of today's mishap and practical opportunities to enhance safety as the program develops. On the next morning after Starship SN9's explosive landing, SpaceX explained the rocket's three Raptor engines had ignited and throttled off, but during collapse, only one of the two Raptor engines were successfully powered back up, which left Starship SN9 with limited thrust to slow its speed for a soft landing. The representative said, We demonstrated the ability to transition the engines to the landing propellant tanks. The subsonic re-entry looked very good and stable. We've just got to work on that landing a little bit. While some might discover, in Sprucker's reflective tone underwhelming, it possibly comes with mustard awareness of how volatile prototype testing historically is. The initial months of NASA's Mercury program, which was the first U.S. rocket program to race humans into orbit, were extremely explosive. The first try to launch a Mercury capsule went forward on July 29, 1960. An Atlas rocket, the Mercury Atlas 1 vehicle, encountered structural collapse 58 seconds after liftoff at almost 30,000 feet. The weather was too terrible and rainy to notice an explosion, but instrument data recommended violent motion after telemetry vanished and before debris crashed into the sea. If you are liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now let's continue. After a few months, on September 26, 1960, the Atlas Able 5A planned to send a lunar probe to space also encountered a critical mission failure, which forced a wholesale review of the Atlas as a launch vehicle. Considering the search for explanations for repeated launch failures, an engineer said, We have answered all of the questions we have asked ourselves. But have we asked the right questions? We can't be sure. SpaceX and the road to reusable rockets, SpaceX's beginnings, were much tinier than its present-day Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Starship launches. In 2008, Falcon 1 became the first ever liquid-fueled and privately developed launch vehicle to make it to space, powered by one Merlin engine in the initial stage rocket and a Kestrel engine in the additional stage. Well, this came after a few botched early tries, but SpaceX's offering to the idea of spaceflight isn't providing commercial payloads into space or even lifting humans into low Earth track. Key to SpaceX appeal is also the beginning of reusable rockets. Instead of using disposable first-stage boosters, SpaceX's capability to land Falcon 9 boosters could help it in regaining the cost of building and renovating a single supporter after three flights. Well, once it makes a healthy landing, Starship will become the first space vehicle to offer full reusability. NASA and SpaceX are dedicated to working together in space ventures to go forward till 2024. 
When it comes to profitability, SpaceX is probably the long-term winner since, as a private firm funded by government grants and payments from payload companies, it only has to keep up business as normal to continue launching rockets. However, until Elon Musk's SpaceX returns humans to the moon and settles the first people on Mars, NASA will definitely hold out in people's mind as the preeminent leader of space exploration, not only because it has started missions with more in mind than money, but because with spacecraft like the Voyagers 1 and 2, still active in interest stellar space and many more since successfully analyzing the inner and outer planets of our solar system, the actual fact is that SpaceX has not gone as far. What's your take on this topic? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. With that being said, it's time to end our today's video. Press the button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Peace out!